Hello Guardians, uh, welcome to a more laid back and casual kind of video. I say that as I'm about to complain about stasis like the 527 person has already. Sorry, I should be poking jabs at other people, but like, it, it's true though, we're all complaining about stasis, even I'm going to hop on the bandwagon just for a tiny bit. Uh, one thing I will say immediately is I don't mind stasis in uh, PvE. When it comes to Gambit, it's kind of like 50-50. Like, when I use Stasis in Gambit, it's usually because I'm using on the enemies and I'm not using on, like, an invader. But, you know, if, like, the invading team's getting a bit cocky, you know, just to, just, just to put a bit of salt in their wounds, you know, just pop, freeze, explosion. But anyway, um, PvP, obviously, is where it shouldn't be. Um, so the last time... I can't remember what video it was, but I made a video. Oh yeah, it was about Sunsang, right? And then later, I think it was like a week or two later, Bungie then announced that they'd be unsunsetting, like, um, or not doing sunsetting anymore. <laughs> and it's just like, wait a minute, what if I make a video on stasis? Does that mean that all the stasis stuff will start to happen sooner than later? Or maybe my like timing's just so good, like with this sort of stuff. So stasis and PvP. I think the recent theory I've heard of people saying that they should just disable it for the time being in PvP is not even that bad of a theory if you think about it. Like, you're, you're still keeping stasis in the game. You're keeping it in PvE. And, like, we're not talking about, like, rewriting it in the lore where, like, it can never be introduced to Crucible. I mean, like, just disabling it for the time being until they get to grasps of, like, how they can reintroduce it. Or maybe, like... They can reintroduce it in some other way. But as of right now, obviously, like, people would just like it removed full stop. The only problem with this, though, is that I could see people then complain that, oh, the other stasis weaponry should probably be banned as well, which, I don't know, maybe you should keep them. Because, honestly, I've been using Cryo Class 77, I think it's called. I've been using the sidearm a lot in Crucible, and... Like, I've obviously not been, like, freezing people to death. There's one time where I instinctively just did it, because I usually do it a lot in PvE. And I was like, oh yeah, let's not do that. So, like, I wouldn't worry about it too much in PvE, especially because, like, you know, you need to actually be good with the weapon to get kills with it, to get the freeze charge and to actually freeze someone. And even if you freeze someone, you're going to have to reload anyway. Because most of the time when I use the... Sidearm is literally when I run out of shotgun ammo. Or not shotgun, uh, fusion rifle ammo. Because I'm trying to get that uh, crucible ornament for the new uh, fusion rifle. But, yeah man, like, again, it's a good solution, right? Like, again, they could write in lore. It'd be cool if they wrote in lore. But then they'd have to write it back in eventually. But about, like, oh, why are we now allowing it back into the crucible, you know? Because, like... <laughs> like, in a real world, world situation, you can't, like, balance and tune powers that you don't actually fully understand you know what i'm saying and like i just have a bunch of images of stasis open here like don't get me wrong I, I, again i love using stasis in um pv and whatnot especially where it counts with, with, honestly with the hunter's revenant i don't really care i prefer to like get the kills myself that's why i run like golden gun most of the time so at least i'm like all right here's the guy that i want to kill bang you know dead other than that, um, I think that's really it. I just kind of came on to complain about that, honestly. Because everybody's already heard everybody else's, like, complaints about stasis and how, like, introducing these aspects and fragments are making stasis worse and worse. I'd say we have at least one more season of that, though. When they'll add more aspects and fragments. Because, like, if they've, they've literally been doing it for the past two seasons now, adding, like, extra uh, aspects and fragments... And if they do it next season, then, you know, that's the last season before, like, the Witch Queen. Of course, that's if, like, next season is the last, which I believe it is. And, of course, Witch Queen will come out, and then we'll probably have, like, aspects and fragments for that as well. So, yeah, the the problem doesn't really disappear there. And I will also bring up, just before I end this uh, video, that, like, share stasis, like, if it was disabled, would be cool. But people would complain about other stuff just as much. But, honestly... I personally wouldn't really complain that much. Like, I, I don't know, man. Because, like, it's... Like, when it comes to me and Stasis and PvP, it's kind of 
But there have been times where it really annoys me. It's like, I could have gotten out of this situation, but that guy, like, froze me at the last second, and my little pinky toe was sticking out from the corner of the wall, you know? So, like, getting rid of that is nice. Like, again, for a bit until they can re-add it to Crucible in the future. Like, maybe after the add, like, the last amount of uh, fragments and aspects and all that, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up here. I'm really done with rambling about stasis for now so yeah if you guys uh, like this video obviously like it uh, comment your thoughts on stasis and what they could do and well potentially the future about like if there's going to be another new subclass and the witch queen and how that's going to be a doozy when that comes out uh, make sure to also subscribe for more destiny 2 content and hit the bell if you do so desire I've been denied flyer talking about stasis in, well, basically in PvP and the overall game, if you want to count that too. Thank you for watching.